Hello everyone and welcome to the next part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Cottage Living. I just ran up a few flights of stairs because I've been sitting on my butt all day. So yay for active deli. Just as a reminder, we'll do the spiel. Can you all do it with me? Thank you EA for granting us early access to this new pack. There may be some bugs or weird glitches because this is not the final copy. This is a beta version. Let's jump into it. Okay, we are starting this session. Session? Sounds like we're like in therapy. I mean, this kind of is Sims is therapy, let's be honest. <laughs> I know it's my therapy. But this is a bunny rabbit popping out of the ground and we are here to witness it. How cute is that? I haven't seen that animation. I was trying to figure out what those dirt patches were. Oh, nice. And Huck has been doing a little bit of crafting. It's a bit of a Thursday craft to noon. How much would we get for this? Oh, we don't... <laughs> Well, that's disappointing. We would only make 20 simoleons from this nice little dragon, but we'll put it here. I think, you know, that's beautiful. I wish we could paint them, you know? Wish we could glaze them. <gasps> oh, I really want like a pottery station. That would be cool to make vessels and stuff. Anyway, I did a little bit of work since the last part. I didn't really add anything extra to the house. No more house makeovers. But I have been working really hard with raising Huck's relationship with our chickens. Now we got pretty high with fluff and I was hoping that fluff would help us in our gardening, but fluff really hasn't done anything. Floof is still a chick. I think Floof might have a growth problem because Floof is still a baby chicken. Buttercup hates us. I've tried so hard to get to know Buttercup and I'm kind of at the stage now where I think Buttercup and us should just become enemies just to see what happens. And then we also had a rooster chick and we unfortunately lost three of our chickens, which is really very sad. Oh my gosh, we lost Tartan? Oh my gosh, you guys, Tartan actually finally died. I didn't realize we lost Tartan. I thought Tartan would live forever. That's so sad. Um, unfortunately, you don't get tombstones when your chickens die, so I decided to get tombstones ourselves out of the debug mode and we'll put them out as our chickens die. So I believe the ones that died was Red Rooster, which I've given a slightly bigger tombstone because it's a rooster. So Red Rooster died, Tartan died, and who was the other one that died? Flu Fluff Buttercup. Oh, Roxy. Roxy would have died. So yeah, that's pretty sad. But luckily we have, we have two roosters and another floof. Oh wait, that's the original Floof. Yeah, Floof is just never gonna age up, I think. But yeah, the chickens don't really help us with our gardening. I even made friends with a rabbit. Oh, don't tell me our rabbit freaking died as well. Oh no, Benny Boop the rabbit here is meant to be helping us with gardening. Oh my gosh, what is happening now? <laughs> Oh no, not our little rabbit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you get him, Poppy. Poor little Poppy. I don't like the foxes attacking us. And the problem is our llama, who is going to be our protector, is over here. So I guess, it, oh, look at the bunnies chasing after the fox. Maybe the bunnies are doing that because they're friends with us. The other thing was I was working on our aspirations. So I have gotten these two up to the point where they just need to harvest one perfect quality oversized crop each. So hopefully um, these, which I've also fertilized, some of them will grow up to be beautiful. But yeah, I guess we need to spray these areas for bugs because no, none of our animals actually help us, even though I've spent so long trying to get to know our animals. I actually am wondering if it's a glitch or if, I don't know. I, I don't know you guys. Let's put these hatchable eggs in here. Actually, how many hens do we have? We're at five, six, seven. Oh yeah, we can have a couple of more chickens. That should be fine. And if you're wondering what this is, this is like a um, fruit, fruity treat, which our chickens have not eaten. So yeah, I really don't. Why does Buttercup have to be so rude? Like I really did try with Buttercup. I really have tried. Okay, and I admit I might have cheated their needs. Um, I'm not gonna pretend I did cheat their needs. And I haven't done that yet in this LP, but I did that just so we could get to know the animals better. So I apologize, I'm sorry. Um, you can, you know, express your disappointment in the comments down below. Actually, no, don't do that. Maybe you can like just say in the comments, I'm not angry, I'm disappointed. <laughs> okay, and I also wanna give our llama a clean. So let's clean ramen, a little ramen noodle over here. And Huck did buy an outfit in the last part as well. We have, where are all Tartan's little outfits in our inventory now. Oh, 
That's so sad. I think I already put the llama outfit in our inventory. Oh yeah, it's here, the cottage core for llamas. But before we do that, I wanted to see what happens to our llama when we give it a rainbow treat. Because we did see that in the, what's it called, trailer, um, they can turn rainbow. So we'll, once we give them a clean, we'll give them a rainbow treat. Oh, does that feel good, Ramen? Yes. And also, um, Meadow has been working on a few of these small hoops or hoopy things. And I put some extra tombstones in the inventory for any more chickens who happen to pass away. <laughs> okay, let's see. Before, after feeding the rainbow treats. Oh my gosh, that is, that's awesome. I love, hey, where did, where did you go? Come back out, ramen. Ramen. I, yeah, the more I look at these, I really dislike these voids. They should have had little barn doors that open when they come out. Like this, this doesn't look very good. Or if they stuck their head out here. I think James was also saying that as well. He would have liked to see them stick their head out. That would have been quite cute. Okay, well, Ramen's decided to go to sleep and, oh no, Ramen's out. Ramen's out, people. <laughs> I love you, Ramen. Let's take a picture of you. So excited for us to have a rainbow llama. Uh, we don't have any errands to run. Oh, we need to run a dozen white eggs to the grocery owner as well as single serving of food. Okay, well let's um get Huck to go into town. I've actually already put the eggs in his inventory. I'm on a roll today, you guys. Now we've also got Shay there, which we've become quite close to. And we had that really nice kind of romantic picnic the other day, but I feel like both of them are a little too scared to move into romance territory. So they're just hanging out as friends still, which is, which is, oh no, we missed. We missed the hours of operation. Dang it. We'll have to come back here tomorrow. I'm wondering if maybe, cause we have, we harvested some like flirty mushrooms or something, or it, it sounded romantic to me. I wonder if we can, you know, do a bit of our own uh, shroom boom. Was it a shroom boom? No, not a shroom boom. What did, what did they call it? I also want to put this pie in here. Ah, oh, the blueberry pie is already spoiled. I just made this. Okay, we'll have to make another blueberry pie. You know how there's like flirty mushrooms? M a mash, a mushroom mash. Was it this one? A lovely mushroom, flirtatious feeling after consumed. Hmm, could we make something with this flirtatious mushroom? Hmm, doesn't look like I'm cooking level three we can. What about our Meadow's higher cooking skill? Meadow must have a, oh, Meadow's cooking skills level nine. That's so cool. Like Meadow's done really well cooking wise, like without cheats or anything, that's pretty good. Now I, now I feel like I have to keep telling you guys I haven't cheated because you probably think I'm a cheater now. I've, I regret, I really regret. <gasps> Lovely mushroom soup. Oh, we can only make a single serving because we only have one lovely mushroom. Oh, yes, these are ready. No, they're not ready to fertilize. Dang. I mean, not fertilize, they're not ready to harvest. Maybe she could make a little mushroom mash for these two. I mean, it's pretty wrong, essentially shrooming our sims to uh, get them to get together. But she means it in the best way possible, okay? I'm just gonna plant this because we may as well plant them. And we've also got our wall of this thing, embroidery thing. Oh no, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Where did I put it? Okay, wow, you can sell these for a hundred bucks. Pretty good. I mean, if all else fails, we can always fall back on this. <gasps> Look at our wall, it's becoming beautiful. Look at our rainbow llama. Oh, we can also shear the ramen's wool to get rainbow wool, which is pretty awesome too. Uh, do we need to do anything more to these? So what mushrooms do we have here? We have a lot of nightlies. We have verdant, spicy, lovely. And then there's also some more verdants and spicy. I mean, I don't feel like we need any more of these because we've already got some. One thing I have been trying to do is limit what we're growing to make sure it's all like not gonna make us too much money. Like I feel like we wanna make money but still enjoy living off the farm and it not be too easy for us. And the other thing is we don't have to harvest everything we grow. Also, we need to name these little rooster chicks. Cuckoo, oh yeah, that, that seems like a good name. Cuckoo and Nugget. I don't like the name Nugget, it reminds me of Pooh. 
let's call this one sporty spice. I don't know, I just, I'm in the mood for the Spice Girls today. I might actually listen to Spice Girls while I walk Bowser. Oh, also I just want us to take a moment of silence to pay our respects to Jerry the cow. Namaste. <laughs> I feel like it would be nice for these two to eat together. I feel like we haven't eaten together properly for a while. So maybe, oh, you know what? Let's cook something together. Cook together with Meadow, not Michael. Oh, great. We can't cook anything but cheese. What happens if we select Meadow? Maybe if we go from Meadow's interactions, we can cook more and maybe teach Huck how to make new things, maybe? Fruit and yogurt. Hey, I swear they changed the image for this, didn't they? Uh, actually, it might just be for his level. Oh no, we just don't have all the stuff we need. Let's do some pumpkin stew. Oh, I hope this makes enough for the whole family or else that'll be awkward. Hey, come cook my dinner with me, but you don't get any. <laughs> so I feel like these two would chat a little bit and Meadow would be like, so I see you've been hanging out with Shay. He's pretty cute. There are any interests there? I mean, we're just friends. He's a nice guy. And she's like, oh, I don't know. He looks like your type. He's pretty cute. He's like, ah, oh, I don't know. I don't think he's really interested. Please, he comes here like all the time. You went on a picnic together. You baked for him. Oh my God, she is such a pro at cooking. Look at her go. Damn, Meadow. She is quick. She is fast. Okay, grab a serving together. Yay, this will be a wholesome family meal. They're definitely night owls for sure. Grab a serving together, everyone. Okay, do you want to like sit at the table or something? Meadow, sit down. Can you sit here, please? Well, I don't know. Maybe you should try flirting with him and see what happens. I can, I know you well, Huck. And I think there's some interest there. Although Meadow at the same time, like Meadow is just not really, like I've said in the past, I've seen her as a type of sim who doesn't have many romantic interests like she's not really looking for a romance whereas Huck I feel like would be more interested especially since the Michael ordeal I'm pretty sure she's been put off romance for a while anyway I'm gonna get these two to go to bed oh she's actually feeling pretty good I wonder why I'm sorry I'm sorry I'll never do it again I feel so bad for cheating I'm gonna be known as that cheater why are, why are all the norms around our bed like little creeps Oh, I'm just gonna wait for them to change positions, honestly. All right, you guys, sweet dreams. We'll speak to you in the morning. Night, night. Can we just appreciate how gorgeous this wallpaper is? It's very cute. Like this country aesthetic's not my aesthetic, like I've said many times, but I love building this house and decorating it and having all these random colors. Like, I, I think it looks so nice. Also, I can hear something is broken. Let's just replace that. Oh, and that's right. We have an upgrade part to do a little bit of work on one of these um, stables. I wonder what? <gasps> We can trade our animals for meat? Oh my gosh. I didn't realize you could trade them for meat. Wait, does, it, does that mean they turn them into meat? That's so realistic, but sad. Ingredients and produce, what? Should we see what happens? Like, I feel really, I feel bad if we do that, but Jerry Jr., like, He's no Jerry. How's our relationship? Oh, no, no, we're not getting rid of, rid of Jerry. Oh, Huck's like, no, I can't send you away, Jerry Jr. Okay, I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm Jr. I'm sorry. I will never, ever say that again. Okay, it doesn't look like we can upgrade these. Maybe we need more upgradable things. Can we buy upgradable things, perhaps? Ooh, register with Ministry of Labor. Oh, we should do that. We should register as farmers. Like officially, because I feel like we are officially farmers at this point. Let's do that and then let's see if we can order. Oh no, not groceries. I kind of want to order gifts. Oh, register your career. Farmer. Farmer Huck. Farmer Huckleberry. Nice, because it's named after a Huckleberry. Huckberry. Huckleberry. I don't know. Refill the feed. What was it? It's like order gifts. Order gifts. Or is that in another pack? can only do that in another pack. Hmm. 
Let me see if I can do it from the computer. Order upgrade parts, let's see. Oh, it doesn't look like you can order them. Hmm, we must need to, <gasps> can you upgrade them to have more than one cow? I wonder if you can do that. I do wonder. Okay, let's throw this away and then let's head into town. Oh, also we need to get a single serving of something. How is this? Pumpkin stew's looking pretty good, so we can give a serve of that. Okay, well, let's head on over to the grocery store. Let's go. You know what? I'm gonna bring Meadow as well. Okay, we're here, everyone. We are here. Oh, we don't like Mrs. Crumplebottom. Hey, okay, so I've got the dozen eggs. What? What do you mean we're missing the eggs? Oh no, I put them in the fridge. Ah, oh, man, now I have to go back home again. Dude, I had like so many eggs and I have no idea where they went. Like, did I sell them? I had like 16 eggs. Are there any eggs in there? Okay, the mate, zero eggs. Happy hands are meant to lay lots of eggs. You know what? I'm just gonna buy them. Let's Uber eat some eggs. Oh my God, we can only, oh yeah, we can get a dozen. <laughs> there we go. I mean, I had the eggs. I really did. Thank you for calling. We'll gather your order and send a delivery sim right over to your door. How awesome. All right, let's get this um, rainbow wool and then we can dress ramen in this new outfit, which is gonna look super duper cute. Here it comes. Yay, nice. We got six rainbow wool. Awesome, and that llama looks happy. Let's put on your new outfit. Ready for cottage core ramen? Okay, nice. Oh, looking good, yes. <laughs> oh, that looks so awesome. Where's this grocery order? Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this. Look at that beautiful um bag of goodies. Wow. So I actually just got an order of my groceries today. Good old Woolies order, not sponsored, but that just arrived for us. So I feel like, this is, this is real life. Oh, look at this bag of goodies. Look at our groceries. Oh, I'm just taking so many pictures because I feel like this is so exciting. Okay, we need to get to the market before the market stuff closes. Now, where did that go? Did that go in the fridge? Where's the meal we had? Okay, is it just me or are things disappearing out of my inventory? They, they, things are disappearing. Unless we just ate the meal, but there was more than one meal left. Oh my God, let's just make them a crappy garden salad. Just want to get this meal over and done with. All right, to the village, take two. Let's try this again. Okay, we're here now. I just, I am so nervous about this store closing. I know we still have time. Ah, give regards from the creature keeper. Deliver this gorgeous salad. We just, really quickly um, put together for you. Their regards, is that all? Well, I won't say that this is outright treachery, but it is a bit of a blur. Look, I gotta tell you, you don't wanna be interested in that guy. Like, he's a creep. He mushroom mashed my girl. And didn't he mushroom mash you? I swear he mushroom mashed her as well. Cause didn't he ask us to send the mushrooms to her? Maybe she likes the mushroom mash. Okay, we've delivered that. Yay, we completed. Now, what did we get? We got milk, okay, cheese, okay, and veggie treats. That's, that's not what we wanted. Well, at least tomorrow's the market. So maybe we can, maybe we can win something from that. I'm gonna buy a mystery box and see if we have any more luck. Cause we, we don't need milk and cheese. We, we have milk and cheese and we just got, a volume two cooking book. Thanks, we can make our money back that way. I don't know, you guys. We could sell some sheep wool. Actually, let's see what other, other thing, other arounds we can run. Let's see if there's any other options here. But I feel like these arounds aren't really giving us what we want and what we need, you know? Assortment of ingredients, fertilizer, freshly prepared meal, not interested. Oh, we do want to get another upgrade part. So we already did this one and she just wanted, oh, she wants orange llama wool. Hmm. So we need to, we need to feed our llama pumpkin treats. Yes, we have pumpkin treats, so we can definitely do that. 
Let's get another mystery box from over here. Try and calm her down. Oh, look who it is. This is the guy from the trailer. May as well introduce ourselves to him. She is like always angry. Always, always angry. Oh, she gave us tulips. We already grow tulips, doll. Oh my God, what is wrong with you? Let's just have a heart to heart. Maybe she'll just give us stuff if we're nice to her. Well, this one would give us some fertilizer to increase the size of oversized crops which might help us win. It may as well give it a bow. We'll give it a bow, cow. So we've got orange wool, harvester homegrown pumpkin, cross stitch, jar of mayonnaise. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, well let's maybe see his errands that we can run. Oh, that was so nice of him. What did you, what did you give us? Anything good? Just a raspberry, okay. Just a mushroom, nothing too impressive. Oh, we can get postcards, an animal treat, an upgrade pot. Love that. And let's see what this this is. Take a photo outside of Henford on Bagley. Uh, like outside. Oh, so not here. Okay, so we can go home and take a picture. Chat about the mayor with the grocery deliverer. And give a chocolate pie to the grocery deliverer. Okay, the grocery deliverer is about to get lucky. Okay, I might get Meadow to also order a, his uh, a history box. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buy a mystery box? Oh no, we went home. Oh well, missed out on that opportunity. But the mystery boxes don't seem to be giving us anything that good. I mean, we're not getting much for paying a hundred small ends, but I do, I do like the gamble. Okay, so we need to get busy, people. Okay, well, we need to give the pumpkin treats to ramen because we need to get some orange wool and I'm assuming this is how we're going to get it. Hello, my little ramen. Here you go. Have, have some pump. Oh, damn, ramen. You look so good. You really do look so good in orange. You look good in every color. Love it. Can we shear you though? Hey, ramen. 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 Noodle. Oh, he likes being called noodle. Just careful not to shear our cute little outfit off of ramen. Oh my God, he's shearing straight into that knitwear. Okay, we've got some orange llama wool. Excellent. How many did we need? I think we just needed the one wool. Okay. Oh, he's not orange anymore, so sad. Now we need to do some cooking as well. So I believe we can make mayonnaise from eggs, but I'm not sure if Huck. Okay, so that'll involve doing some canning. Will Huck be able to make mayonnaise? Oh no, I just literally gave the egg to Meadow. So I'll give it back to Huck. Then Huck can do some canning and Huck can make the mayonnaise. Uh, we may need to steal one of Meadow's cross stitches. I mean, kind of dodgy, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. We need to take a picture and make a chocolate pie as well. I feel like Meadow's happy to help. We just need some chocolate berries. Oh, we don't have any choco berries to harvest, unfortunately. Thank God we're not playing with seasons because that's going to make this even more difficult. We also need to tend to these because tomorrow's Saturday and, and tomorrow's the big vegetable competition. Although we did have our giant aubergines, but I feel like things are going missing in our inventory. Remember we had those big aubergines? Like what happened to them all? Am I going crazy or is there like a problem? Where are my giant aubergines? Seriously, it was saying that those aubergines were worth so much money as well. Do they just go off after a while and they disappear from your inventory? I don't know. What we might have to do is just order some choco berries, seeing as though we don't have any of our own. Let's just see what we have to do to actually make a chocolate pie. Okay, Huck, I don't think can make the pie because he's not high enough cooking skill, but luckily we have a very high cooking skill. Chocolate pie. So we actually have a choco berry, which is good, but we need flour or sugar. Okay, so we need to order that. So we'll order a gross. Oh, you can get Zuma's food delivery. Love it. And get some flour. We want to get some sugar. Is there any sugar? Let's get a couple of those. So when that's delivered, then we can make the pie for tomorrow. So then we just need pumpkin that's homegrown, a photo. We can just go here and take a selfie <laughs> or just take a photo outside. I don't know what we should take a picture of. Oh, actually we could take a picture of our mushrooms over here. That looks really good. 
because they're like glowing and that would be an impressive picture don't you think take a photo smile little mushies oh look at that so these are our um oh, glowing mushrooms black and white one's pretty cool too huh i did take a picture what they didn't like that picture do you want me to like go over here should I take a, a photo of Rahul, maybe? Oh, he's at our house. Oh, here's the delivery guy. Oh, he I don't think he liked having his photo taken because he just like put out stuff there and left it at the door. Did that work? No, oh, that didn't work either. Oh, buttercup. You know what? I don't care if buttercup leaves. Buttercup's horrible. Ooh, we can harvest our lovely mushrooms. Yay. Excellent. And it is the morning. All the chickens are threatening to leave us, which they do every freaking day. Honestly, rude. I don't know what they want. Like, this doesn't get that dirty. And how can you be hungry? Like, there's food all around here. Ah, honestly, high maintenance chooks. I give them all the cutest little outfits and they're still not happy. Put that little hat and scarf off on this one. Here you go, chooks. Take your dang food. We got zero special hatchable eggs, probably because they hate us. <laughs> I worked so hard to raise our relationship with you guys. You know what? I'm going to take your clothes off you if you don't lay me an obsidian egg. That is a that is a threat. Oh, Shay wants to come over. Sure thing, Shay. Come on around. Um, later today, there is the fair, so we'd love to... Have you come with us? Let's flatter Shay. But it's like, hi Shay, how are you? Oh, is he sad again? Oh no, he seems a little happier today. That's good, he's having a good day. Oh, do you really need to shake hands? See, this is how awkward these two are. They're just shy. Ah, oh, dear. Oh dear, he's talking about his typewriter computer. Get to know, I mean, don't we know him already? We're already really close friends. Actually, do we know Shay that well? Animal enthusiast, foodie, and family oriented. Aww. You know what? I feel like Meadow is going to be like, you know what? This is it. I am going to make some lovely mushroom soup for these two. And that's going to, you know, be the push to get them together. Because she wants to see her brother happy. And she can see he's really struggling to make the moves. So let's get a family size of lovely mushroom soup. Was it lovely? Or was it? Yeah, lovely mushrooms do that. This is so dodgy. This is like our version of the mushroom mash. Mmm, flirty soup coming your way. Oh, he just moved closer. Call to meal. Also, oh, she's feeling flirty from making it. I don't think. Oh, no, she farted because she's lactose intolerant. Okay, we need to get some leftovers of something else. Maybe some cheese. No, cheese is a bad idea. Oh, dear. You know what? Just, just have it. Just have it. Let's all get flirty. Oh, Shay's gonna have some too. This is the ultimate plan. Oh no, did she just wet herself? Oh dear. Oh honey, I'm sorry, I forced you to do that. That was not worth it. Okay, well, he's feeling flirty. Okay, maybe we should do a little flattering, give a little relationship advice now that he's feeling extra good about himself. Poor Meadow's not having the best time. She's like, my plan is working, but this is karma for doing what I did to these two. She, has, she learned from Michael to be like this. Compliment appearance. If this goes badly, I will feel really bad about these two. Oh, he's only feeling confident. The soup hasn't worked on him yet. Maybe we should give him a second for this, you know, mushroom mash to kick in. Oh yeah, he's feeling flatty. He's like, so I bought some new sweet boxes the other day. Wanna see? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Offer a rose. I used to offer these to the creature creeper. Oh my gosh, these two are hitting it off. I wonder how. Okay, she's having a bath. That's good. And then we also have... Oh, damn, Hawk. You're showing off your muscles. <gasps> First kiss. I don't I don't know if we should do that while we're um, all, all around the fireplace. Actually, that is pretty cute. I feel like their first kiss shouldn't be under the influence of mushrooms, you know? Okay, these two are the sweetest couple. 
the chef and the farmer, you guys. <gasps> then we can get them together and they can bring up a family on the farm. <gasps> snuggle, snuggle, snuggle. Oh no, he has to go to the toilet. There's no time for the toilet. Why do you need to go to the toilet? You're not even busting. <laughs> I think he's just nervous. <gasps> oh, guys, they're snuggling in front of the fireplace. Oh, this is too cute. This is too cute. Gazing into each other's eyes in front of the fireplace. Let's take a photo. Let's take a photo with Shay. It's like our first photo while they're feeling flirty and confident, you know? Oh, should we do like black and white? We'll do a, we'll do a blend of different options. <gasps> I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. You're welcome. Okay, we have, we have to put this up on our wall. Why are those gnomes still there? Shay's gonna think we're a creeper. Oh, there we go. We can add, a light wood frame. Oh, that's their first photo together. Where's Meadow? She's feeling flirty herself. <laughs> okay, is there anything we can, okay, we can harvest all our crops. Unfortunately, oh, she's feeling embarrassed. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, we can't really, we don't have any really sizable crops. I mean, I thought our eggplants would win, but it disappeared. These crops are magnificent quality, but they're not very big. And apparently in this town, size does matter. So disappointing, I know. Oh, we have an egg ready to hatch. Are they both ready? One of them's ready. <gasps> Eggy time. Oh, another little cute chicken. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, we gotta go to the festival, folks. Okay, I think we've got everything we need. Um, oh, the pie! I didn't make the pie. Go to the very end of the list, was it? Or halfway? Here we go. Um, if Meadow can just quickly make this pie, then we can take a few things off the list. In terms of what we should enter, our pumpkins are magnificent, our mushrooms are magnificent, and our eggplants are magnificent but they're all a bit on the smaller side. Oh, actually, and if we wanna sell some stuff, cause I guess our, our money has gone down a little bit. I just put everything in the fridge, but we really should be taking everything out of the fridge to sell. Oh my gosh, we reached level 10 cooking skill. That's awesome. Well, let's head to the fair. I think we've got a little bit of time left. We'll just make it. That's exciting. And we'll quickly put our entries in. Hopefully with a bit of luck, we can discover something new or get like another golden milk or something like that. Cause I really want to see what the effect of the golden glow does to things. Okay, everybody. Okay, what do we want to, what is this? This looks like a pie competition. You just submit an entry here. We need to submit entries in all the places. <gasps> and we need to go to the store. So we need to sell items we need to buy items we need to sell and we need to buy people oh my god look at this giant mushroom oh my gosh we're never gonna win that is a big guy honey okay sell items so the watermelons weren't that good quality i don't think um i'll keep out aubergines for their entries i think that's pretty good that's like a thirteen hundred dollars oh wait no i don't want to put our chocolate pie in Ah, oh, bummer. Oh, you know what? We should put our pie in. Put an aubergine in. Because if we put our pie in, we're more likely... Oh, if we put the pie in for this, at least we can make another chocolate pie tomorrow to, to give to the grocery person. We need to sell some items. Okay, we're going to make another $1,000. Beautiful. Now, is there anything interesting we can buy? Uh, plant milk, orange egg, mm, sage, small vegetable, strawberry milk. Haven't tried that before. Nothing too special today, people. Okay, let's submit our chocolate pie. Oh, she's about to judge. Okay, I think we can get a quick other aubergine entry in. So let's submit an aubergine. I mean, I know these aren't very big, but I'm pretty sure it's the oversized competition entry. <laughs> Okay, hopefully we can win the pie competition. It is an excellent pie. Oh, look at all these people dancing. I think this is Shay's mom, so we should definitely not romance with her, but put in a good word. Oh, and the stores are already um, already closed. Oh, friends. 
Let's do a funny introduction. Compliment fair entry, that's very good of us. It's very fair. Now, where is the grocery owner? Is she here? Ah, oh, there she is. So we can deliver that um orange llama wool for a start. Oh, I wish this was our entry. Like seriously, what did happen to our, our entries? You know, our aubergines that we used to have, they just disappeared. I wonder if it's a glitch. Maybe we just left it for too long in our inventory, or maybe if we put them in the fridge, they last for longer. Here's your orange wool. Enjoy. Also, we couldn't harvest a perfect oversized crop either. Could we attempt to bribe the judge? If we had a relationship with the judge, maybe we could. Didn't Huck used to get along with the judge? Meadow, work your, work your magic. Let's give her a bit of wool. She looks like a lady who would do some craft in, in her own time. You know what? Can we help you with anything? Yeah, this is for you. Not because you're a judge or anything, just because, you know, we just like to do these Finchwick favors. Um, what can we do here? We can get berries, llama wool, and animal treats. I like how we just look at what we get straight away. Or we can get berries, an upgrade part, and a chance of receiving a cross stitch pattern. Why does it say a chance of receiving it? Do we want the upgrade part? Why don't we just do both? I mean, we can do both. Haven't had a chance at, to have a proper chinwag recently with some of the other locals, so I'm going to send you in my stead. Catch up on what's been happening around Flinchwick. Okay, some people try to bribe me at Finchwick Fair. To them, I say, don't try it unless you can make it worth my while. <laughs> Clearly, I'm joking. Ooh, really? What can we bribe you with? Let's just attempt with $250. I've got a spot of extra food. Would you be dear and accept it? Enjoy it for me? Sure, I'll give you this. Oh dear, she doesn't. Oh no. Oh dear, how dare you challenge the integrity. I am running a legitimate competition here. Okay, we m shouldn't have done that. We should not have done that. Okay, I'm gonna go have some heart-to-hearts with other people and you know what? You just do your thing. I love how this lady is just like getting down in the park by herself. <laughs> um, if we have a heart-to-heart -heart with you, Meg, does that count? Oh dear, this is not a good look. Um, this is not a good look when we've entered a competition. Finchwick Fair rewards! What did we get? I can't see because my name's in the way. One flower and a participation pie ribbon. Well, if we didn't win the pie competition, we definitely haven't won the oversized vegetable competition. And we got some cheese and some fertilizer. Uh, well, that just, oh, I was really hoping we would get some good stuff, you know? Super disappointing. Oh man, I, I I feel we did not do so well, but you know what? It's back to the farming grind. We can get this, we can get a first ribbon again. Plant these oversized mushrooms. I am determined. Ah oh, yes, we have another egg that's ready to hatch. Okay, so with this hatched egg, we have almost got to our full capacity of our coop. Oh my gosh, Sporty Spice is now a fully grown rooster. How exciting. Well, you guys, I think I'll finish this part right here. A little bit disappointed that we didn't get any more golden milk or anything. You know, those shops just close too quickly on us. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're on the world. I'll speak to you soon. Dag, dag. Ooh.